everybody welcome back to my channel I'm made with love my name is Heather and today is July 22nd of 2024 uh, it's been a long time since I've done crafting uh, I told my husband that I really wanted to get some crafting done so I went to the dollar store and I got a few items so I can do some crafting because otherwise everything I have is packed so I found this the cute little wooden bird house from Dollar Tree. So it was a dollar uh, fifty. Those so you can paint it, and I was gonna paint it. And so I came in here this morning, and I was looking at my paints, and then the shelf right below my paints, I have a whole bunch of these cute little mini um, pattern paper. So you get sixty sheets and a uh, book for a dollar fifty and they are oh, size is ten centimeters by ten centimeters or four inches by four inches. So I saw these and I do have oops, go like this. I have quite a large stack of them. I have some of the other ones right here. And they are they're still the small ones but they are a little bit longer. So like I said, these are the four by four, and these ones are six and a half by four and a half. So they are, you know, these are square, these are the rectangle. But the ones I have for this one, I only seem to have right now Halloween and Christmas. And then I do have some of the full shot size packs of the paper here. And these are 12 by 12 inches. And these packs cost me like what, four twenty-five. And you get twenty sheets. But all I have of these ones right now is Christmas or Easter. So, because otherwise I can get one of these out of one of those sheets. But I found all these little ones, so I went through all of my little books here. I'm just gonna kind of flip through so you can kind of see the different patterns. Some of the pages might pop out because I was taking them out and figuring out for the colors what I liked. So this is the first one I found and it has like these weathered sheets and I thought that would be good. Except I couldn't find any um, coordinating ones with flowers or birds on it so I decided not to do that one. Let's see, I've got this one here which kind of has some really pretty pages. If I can do this, just hold this so I can kind of flip through so you can kind of see. I kind of like these star ones, but it was just too dark. It wasn't quite what I wanted. And then I've got these other ones here. And again, the pattern is just, I mean, the pattern is okay, but it was just not what I wanted. I kind of wanted the um, more of a flowers or birds. Kind of look more outdoor. So I went with this pack here and it's kind of like a red, white, and blue pack. And I took out two sheets of each design that I like. So I got these wavy ones here. I thought that'd be great for the roof. I got these little um, sand dollars for the front and back. And the little flowers and butterflies for the sides. So I'm just gonna move my camera down. I'm just gonna open this. So that's the two roof pieces, that's the front and the back. It just kind of helps if I just kind of lay these down. So this is the base, and then these are the other two walls. And the floor. Oops, I didn't choose one for the floor. How did I miss that? One, two. Yeah, okay, so I missed a piece for the floor. And let me see. I don't really know if you're going to see much of the floor because it's going to be hidden. Um, where did I put that? Right here. Oh, 
know what, I think I'm just going to leave because for the floor I just have to worry about just the outside part. So I'm just going to set the floor part aside for right now while I figure out where I'm going to do all these other ones. So I'm going to start with the roof pieces. Is it too bad that I can't can't get away with doing one piece? One piece of paper of this to be able to do all of those. I'm just going to quickly just trace. And I gotta do this. Just gotta make the slits. And where the string will be. Make sure the pattern lines up. So I hate to cut the roof and sorry, hate to cut the roof and then find out that I've got one going this way and one going that way. side pieces. I really want to get the butterfly. Now I don't need to worry about where the little hook pieces are on the sides. So I'm just going to, so the butterfly is there. But before I do that, I have to figure out which way this looks on. Hooks go down, so it makes it really easy to figure out where I want the butterfly. So I kind of want to center the butterfly as much as possible. I kind of chose this sand dollar pattern because I got to cut the hole for the door. So I just kind of wanted something that kind of matched everything, but just wasn't like, it would match everything, but wouldn't matter if I cut find where I can line this up so make it right there I get more of the pattern doesn't really matter as much because I'm not cutting out a door or a window, whatever you want to call it. So now I've got all my 
things traced. So I'm just going to cut these out. And when I get these all cut out, I will be right back. All right, so I got them all cut out. Now I'm going to do this bottom piece. Now I've got the ones that were from the roof. I think this is just going to work perfect. I'm just going to cut these bits this way. And there, so I got those pieces cut. Now I'll fix them in a minute, like getting the them all lined up. But I'm going to just simply use Mod Podge to attach the paper to the wood. So I'm going to do that for every piece. So I will be back when I get all the pieces glued on. It's a very simple process and then I'll leave this time to dry. So when I get this done and then let this dry probably about half an hour or so. So I will be back in about half an hour to finish putting together the birdhouse. Alright, so I've now got all the paper glued on to the wood. Now this one here, that's that bottom frame, I just took the four pieces and I just kind of layered the scrapbook paper over so I get the nice even pattern. So the floor is going to match the roof pattern. So now I'm just going to take the Mod Podge, now that this is mostly dry, I mean it's still a little bit wet underneath. But I wanted to give some time just because of how thick this wood is and this also this scrap of paper is a little bit thicker than some of the other. This is almost like a cardstock thickness. Oh, my brush is a little wet. It's more wet than I thought. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to give that some time to dry before I did this. Now I'm just going to put a layer of Mod Podge on the front and let this dry completely and then I will be back when I get this all done and this is dry and then I can um, go with my sanding block, sand off all the excess paper and assemble the birdhouse. Like I said, it won't take long, just, this won't take long to do, it's just waiting for this to dry. So like I said, I'm just doing this. Now, I've seen some people when they use Mod Podge, they just kind of put it whatever direction. What I found I like to do is to get my Mod Podge all going in the same direction as much as possible with few brush strokes because I find with, particularly with the um, shiny, Mod Podge, you can see the brush strokes. So I like to, if I go in all the same directions, less chances that you'll see my brush strokes. Also, excuse me, if it has a pattern, I like the brush strokes to go with the pattern. 
uh, as much as possible. So I'm almost out of Mod Podge too. So that's it's gonna be interesting to finish this off. I, I don't know how long I've had this jar of Mod Podge, but it is almost empty. Now with something like this, it's a little tricky, so I'm trying to do my best to get all the brush strokes going in the same direction. But sometimes it's just not possible to do that, but I try my best. So I'm just going to continue doing the last couple and I will be back when this dries. Okay, so now the Mod Podge is dry. So just got an emery board and I'm just going to go along all the sides working from the top down underneath. Uh, you don't want to go this way because you're going to shred the paper. I have a sanding block, but I also find that these emery boards from the dollar store work just as well, if not better to get into some of the smaller sections. And all you do is just keep sanding it down. Of course, this is like well used. You just keep sanding and the paper will start to peel away and it should. off in a nice piece like that and you get a really nice clean finished edge. One thing I like with the emery boards is then you can get into the tight places. take some time as well to get all the edges done but then you go around and see how nice it looks and then this one also has where the window is so for the window you go from the inside and just straight down it's a little trickier because circle. So this one I'm not too worried about getting it all out but if I can just kind of clean it up a little bit a bit chunk of wet glue still there. Okay. This one like I said more for this window usually what I do is just trying to get it to pull it more in. I don't need to really worry about getting all the paper off. It's not like an edge you're going to see. But I do want to do some embellishments on this a little bit anyways, so that's not going to be as noticeable. But I'm just going to continue going around. Like I said, this is flat square ones. It's pretty easy. back and we can actually get to assembling the birdhouse. Okay so with all the pieces now sanded I'm actually going to assemble this but first I gotta use the exacto knife 
and I gotta make sure that all the little slits are cut through. So I'm just gonna push from the top and then line this up. Just gonna make a little mark. And this one here has the little hole cut in so I can hang it up. Making sure that as I move these pieces around, I've got them still in the same spot. I think that was all that. So I'll start with trying to get the first one snapped together and the second one I think it's there's a little bit of glue and stuff stuck around these little knob things Making sure that I do get all the little bits of paper out. Might be there was a little chunk of glue right there. I think that was what was stopping me from getting it in.
Okay, well I got the front and back wall and the floor in place. So I'm going to do these ones and then I realized I got to punch these out. have to cut off some of this extra scrap of paper that's just in my way. It's preventing these from sides all on. Now it's crooked. I don't think I'm going to be able to straighten it. This one leg just will not go down in place and I can't lift it up either. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I just have to push the leg and get it straighter. So right now everything is kind of more crooked that way. But I'm going to put the roof on now.
other side. One leg in first, one that kind of bent funny. Just gonna make the opening here just a little bit bigger. got the bottom all in. It's still a little crooked. I mean, there's some spaces in there. But I'm going to say this is a thing from the dollar store. They never line up, but I'm going to fix that with um, other embellishments so you don't notice the gaps. So I'm just going to clean up from this. I'm just going to kind of clean up a little bit around here, I'm going to go grab, I want to add some moss. I'm going to go grab my glue gun and my moss. And I think I'm going to fill this these gaps in at the bottom with moss. And I'm going to get some other stuff to embezzle the little birdhouse. And I will be right back. All right, so just got a few little things here that I found. I don't have access to all my craft supplies yet, or still, whatever you want to look at it. So I've got this little piece of lace. So I think I'm going to put a strip across on both sides and it will kind of hide that gap. This silk ribbon. I'm just going to put this right across because they didn't quite line up. The gap is just a little wider than I thought. And I know now I've done this and I didn't put any you know, thread my ribbon through to hang it. I don't think I'm going to hang this one. I think I'm going to just have it sitting on the fireplace. But I like the top now. Looks a lot better without that big gap. And I had some of this 
too bad it wasn't silver. The silver would work so much better. I don't think I really like it with the gold. So I'm not going to use that. Let's see if I can do the silver trim and it kind of match. Oops. The top, so I'm just gonna I'm just trying to hide the gaps. I got my finger stuck to it, so I pulled the ribbon off. And I found this little bird. I have a set of three of these. I don't know where the other ones went. I think it's too big to fit in, but I think I might set it on the outside, or if I can... Oh yeah, this one is just, it's too big. And it's kind of falling apart. But I'm not going to use that bird. I thought I was going to. I don't know where my other birds are. I know I have a bunch of them. But I really want to do something around this window. into the circle. Trying to figure out if this, I know it will fit. I just don't know how it will look if I will like it before I glue it down. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for it. If I don't like it, I can always just take it off.
like how that's starting to look. Just gotta go answer my phone and I'll be back. Alright, welcome back. Sorry, I know I had to go answer the phone yesterday. That's where I had ended. Uh, I was time to go pick my husband up from work. I hadn't realized it had gotten quite that late. But today I was at uh, Dollar Rama and I found these cute little silver glitter birds and I thought they'd be perfect to finish off this bird house. I know I have birds somewhere. Like I said, I'm not quite sure where they are. I can't wait till we get moved over. This house still hasn't sold. We thought it did. Stuff happened. It didn't. We're still here. I just can't wait to move on. But I saw these little birds and I thought this would be perfect to go with the silver and, I guess, I guess I'm turning it silver and blue. I'm just going to I haven't taken off the clip, so I'm trying to decide if I want to have the bird sitting on top of the roof or inside. I think I'm going to do oops, one of each. So it should, oh yeah, it's from the dollar store, so it's just lightly glued onto the little clip. I like to keep these clips. I can use them, I usually use them for floral arrangements if I want to stick a bird or a butterfly on my florals. And this bird obviously is a lot smaller than the other one. This will fit perfectly. I'm just going to turn this this way so I can get some room in here. Just slip the bird right there. Oops, I'm dropping it. Yeah, so the bird is coming out of the house. And I really think, let's see, if I stick one on top as well. They'll face the same direction. Yeah, they do. Sometimes they'll get ones that face, you know, the same pack. You might get some that face two different directions. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Just going to peel this one off. There we go. And I'm just... Some glue right there. And glue this one up on top of the birdhouse. Right there. So we have the pair of birds on their house. My house is done. I'm going to leave it like this. I think it is just so cute this way. Um, I could do more embellishments. Like I said, I really want to put some moss down here. I couldn't find my container of moss. So I just went with the silver ribbon. And I think it looks so cute with the two birds. Oops. I'm going to leave as is. So this project was just the little wooden um, birdhouse was a dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty. The two little birds came in that pack for two dollars, and then the little scrapbook paper I get. Uh, I think they're about a dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty for the little mini sheets. So there we go, a cute little house. A little bit of leftover ribbon scraps that I have. I'm gonna go put this on my fireplace. I'm gonna get it all set up, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Actually, I noticed that on the bird here, when I pulled that off, I thought you wouldn't be able to see it, but the position of the bird, you can see the styrofoam and you know the glitter got peeled away. So I'm just going to, I was looking, I don't seem to have any glitter glue, I do, or glitter paint, I do, but not in silver. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of hot glue and just put some hot glue there. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some regular silver glitter. Hope I don't make too big of a mess doing this. There. And I'm just gonna shake the glitter. I'm just gonna blow it off and shake it on my table, that's okay. But that was just a very quick fix to get rid of that spot. Now I'm gonna have glitter everywhere. That's okay, I love glitter. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go and put this on my fireplace mantle and show you what it looks like. 
Okay, so I really enjoy little mini crafting. It's been a while since I've done any. But I'm glad for yesterday and today I was able to get some crafting done. I've got a few more crafts that I want to make in the next couple of days. I've got the little, um, they're similar projects to this little birdhouse, but they are the, um, well, music boxes. All right, so again, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's subscribing to my channels and watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next ones. Bye.